Control of food water content. Food products are getting advanced, especially in processing. Preservation is one of the processes that we really benefit by controlling the food water content to delay the spoilage in an exponential manner. Water content affects the quality of a product, taste, texture, and also shelf life. There are some methods in controlling the food water content. Food dehydration is a process where the water content or moisture of a food is being reduced or removed. In this manner, the growth of microorganism will be avoided, shelf life also will increase, reduce the weight of the product that is beneficial for packaging and mass transportation. Methods of dehydration Sun drying is traditional way where they use sunlight to dry food. Air drying where natural air circulation that is being blown to the product to remove or reduce moisture. Oven drying by using heat the moisture is being removed or reduced by evaporation at a temperature or above boiling point. Humidity control is a critical factor in storing and processing food. Proper humidity control will prevent mold growth, spoilage and change in texture. Key consideration for humidity control. 1. Storage conditions. Dry storage. After foods is being dried or the moisture content is being reduced, the storage area should be low in humidity to retain the dryness of the dried products and avoid moisture absorption. 2. Refrigerated storage. Low humidity refrigerators are an ideal technology to prevent condensation in refrigerated foods and avoid mold and bacterial growth. Modified atmosphere packaging, map, reducing the air content, which is a water carrier, to control the humidity, to control the ripening of fruits and vegetables in packaging that will result to longer shelf life. Freezing is the common method to control the water content of foods. By lowering the temperature of food below its freezing point, the microbial growth, enzyme activity, and deterioration reactions will be slowed down and probably will be stopped. When food is frozen, the water content inside the food forms ice crystals. This process effectively immobilizes water molecules, reducing their availability for biological and chemical reactions. Freezing helps preserve the quality, texture, flavor, and nutritional value of many foods by minimizing the degradation that can occur during storage. Freezing inhibits the growth of microorganisms by limiting their access to water, while freezing does not eliminate bacteria and other microorganisms, it significantly slows down their metabolic activities. Types of freezing Blast freezing, rapid freezing using high-velocity air to minimize ice crystal formation and maintain the quality of the food. Slow freezing, slower freezing rates, as in conventional home freezers, may result in larger ice crystals and potentially affect the texture of certain foods. Freezing process Preparation, food is typically prepared for freezing by cleaning, cutting, and, in some cases, blanching to preserve color and texture. Packaging, proper packaging is crucial to prevent freezer burn and protect the food from exposure to air, which can lead to dehydration. Freezing is a versatile and widely used method for preserving food, providing convenience and extending shelf life while preserving much of the food's original quality. Proper handling and packaging are essential to maximize the benefits of freezing. Chemical additives. Controlling food water content is crucial for food preservation and quality, and various chemical additives play a role in achieving this goal. These additives help prevent spoilage, maintain texture, and extend shelf life. Some examples of chemical additives and their functions. Humectants. Humectants are compounds that retain and absorb water. They help prevent foods from drying out and maintain moisture content. Drying agents. These agents are used in food packaging to absorb excess moisture to prevent foods absorb moisture and lead to spoilage. Thank you for watching.